Hello everyone, this is Crossfire Diva. This is the list of tools you will need for this project. Hey everyone, today I am replacing my son's crankshaft position sensor on his 2004 Chrysler Crossfire. So, um, this is a brand new Bosch, Bosch crankshaft position sensor. You want it to be Bosch. And um, first thing you're going to do is remove this engine cover. So you have to remove these intake air snorkels. Oh, that one's not coming out, but it's okay. It doesn't have to come out. Okay, now for this engine cover, you just kind of have to gently just kind of pull up like that, and it pull, should pull off. It's pretty amazing. This car does not have a heat shield for its crankshaft position sensor. It might be why it went bad, I don't know, but there should be a heat shield right over in here. And there's none here. I guess someone had removed it at some point. Okay, the tools you're going to need for this job is you're going to need an E8 socket with um, a quarter inch end here and a quarter inch extension. And you want one of the little quarter inch ratchets to go along with it uh, because anything bigger is just really not gonna fit in that small space. Then you're simply going to take this and you kind of have to go by feel. So um, it's way up underneath here, like I just showed you, but you may want to initially put this on first and then put the ratchet on, or you can try to do it with the ratchet. But you have to kind of go do it by feel and kind of feel your way onto that. There's a little bolt under there. Okay, putting it by feel with the ratchet wasn't working, so I'm going to go ahead and put the extension. I went ahead and put the extension and the bit on there, and then I'm going to attach the ratchet to it. The ratchet off now because I went, um, I got it loose, so I'm going to use. I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it by hand. Now it's easier than doing it with the ratchet, so you just turn this. It's hard to film and do but at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it by hand now. This is the bolt. You can see, this is what it looks like. So I have it off. Now I'm ready to remove the crankshaft position sensor. From here, it's really easy. You're just gonna just pull this straight out. You're gonna grab a hold of the connector. It's hard for me to film and do at the same time. I'm gonna grab the connector, not the wire, but the black connector, and just pull up on it. And the crankshaft position sensor comes straight out, and then you can remove the connector from it. Okay, to get this clip off, uh, it's kind of hard because it's going to be stuck on there. Press this little clip right there, and I usually use a smaller screwdriver, but this is a lot of fun right now. You're going to kind of pry up on this at the same time as pushing this one down. Just be gentle with it, it's probably kind of fragile. Okay, so I have it out now. Um, you can see what happened because the heat shield's not there. All of this melted, and there's some melting here. Um, so I'm not sure if the wiring harness is damaged and if that's the problem and why this crankshaft position sensor is bad, or if the, it's the actual sensor. So I'm just going to replace the sensor and hope for the best, and if that doesn't work, then possibly look into figuring out what's going on here with the wiring um, because obviously that heat shield needs to be there. Okay, so I just slid the new sensor onto the wiring harness, and I'm going to place it back in the hole where it came from. Make sure that this brass part is down, because that's where your bolt is going to go. You're going to slide it in. It's going to be a little difficult, but you're going to kind of force it in. It's important when you put the crankshaft position sensor back in, it's very important that it's like lined up perfectly, like parallel or perpendicular. It has to look right. Otherwise, the hole in the crankshaft position sensor, that, sensor that, bra that brass hole will not line up with the hole inside the engine. So if the bolt is not going in, that means you need to rotate the crankshaft position sensor uh, a little to the left or right, uh, depending on um, how it looks. You have to visually kind of eyeball it. I can kind of tell if it's right. Um, I can tell right now that it's right, so I went to put the bolt in and the bolt went right in. Um, but. I've been trying to get it to rotate. Sometimes it's sometimes it's a little stubborn. I've been trying to get it to rotate um, to the right a little bit, and finally, um, with my son's help, I was able to get it in the correct position. 
and the bow started to thread. So now I'm going to go ahead and stick the uh, wrench on it. It's important that you thread it by hand first uh, um, before you attempt to stick the ratchet on it. So I thread it by hand with the extension in the socket. If y'all can see that, I'm trying to find it. The extension in the socket, I thread it by hand with these, and now I'm going to go ahead and stick the ratchet on it. All right, so I have the ratchet on it now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it slowly. It's, it just slipped off, but just keep tightening until it's tight. Okay, so I've, I've finished tightening the crankshaft position sensor bolt, so I'm going to put the engine cover back on, like so. To make sure that this is seated properly in the back, otherwise, you're going to have issues. And there's some clips, clamps right here. I'm going to kind of tap it on like this here. There's a clamp right here. And there's a clamp over right here. No ring around the side. So look at the clamps visually. Tap it down there. Make sure it seats fully onto the mass airflow sensor in the back here. Um, sometimes it's good to use a rubber mallet to tap it down gently. And then you're going to put these air and take tubes back on. And then you're all finished. There you go. All finished and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.